Hello, Professor Morgan here showing you how to set up your references page using Google Docs and this is for APA style edition 7. Okay, so in a previous video I showed you how to set up your title page which is all done here, all nicely nice. Okay, and then how you would start writing your paper itself. Okay, so now we're going to put in our reference page. This is where we put in a list of the sources that we used that uh, to write the paper. So what I'm going to do is when I get to the end of my paper, I'm going to go to the last part of my paper right here, and then I'm going to go to insert, and I'm going to go to break, and add a page break. Boom. And that brings me down to the next page. Okay. Um, now, um, when I had set up this text up here, I'd set it up so that it indented the first lines. And you'll notice that um, where the, the cursor is here, it's indented. And so what we need to do is we need to hit the backspace because this first thing we're going to be doing is uh, writing the word references that it needs to be centered. So if you have it indented over, then it's not quite right. It'll, it'll indent over the centering, which is weird. Okay, so um, I'm going to go to a line and then go to center. And then I'm going to, now um, in APA style 7, this is bolded. So I'm going to type, I'm going to just click on the bold there and then type in references. References. Okay, it's not works cited, it's not sources, it's references. That's very particular, okay? Uh, references. Okay, now I'm going to turn off my bold. I'm going to hit enter. And then I'm going to go ahead and change this back to left align. So it's back over here. Okay, now I have my sources that I have from, you know, I've collected my sources from elsewhere. Again, this video isn't showing you how to find sources or how to integrate them. This is just showing you how to format this in Google Docs. So um, the first thing you need to know is that you put your references in alphabetical order by the last name of the first person listed. Okay. Um, or if there's not a name, then it's the first, whatever the letter is, okay, um, it's the, it's an alphabetical order. So let's say I have a source here, uh, I'm just going to copy this from a, over here, and I'm just going to hit paste. So I've copied this from a, a, a different document. Okay, so there's one, okay, and let's just do another one for giggles. Okay. I'll go here and then add another source, paste, and hit enter. Okay, now so I've got my so I've got you know B comes before R. Now this is still not quite right. Okay, I've got my sources. Everything is double spaced the way it should be. However, for the reference page, um, the indenting is done differently. It is called it uses something called a hanging indent, and there's a very good reason for that. So how to do this is I'm just going to highlight, left click and hold and highlight my text here. Okay, and then I'm going to go to Format, Align and Indent, and Indentation Options, and I'm going to go to Hanging, and then hit Apply. So what that does is that it makes it so that um, the, uh, the, the source is on the left, and then any extra information about that source is kind of moved over. So it's really designed to help us be able to find sources very quickly um, as opposed to everything just being all the way over here to the left okay and then you would just rinse and repeat as far as just you know doing the reference page but again everything is double spaced and again it's in alphabetical order and it uses a hanging indent so um, that is how you do the reference page using google docs and again um, just for giggles if you're still hanging on the line here when i go to save this as a PDF, then you'll see there's my introduction paper, there's my paper itself, and there's my reference page, and it's all done the way it should be done. Okay, awesome. There you go. Have fun.